Um, the seigneurial system and its persistence to 1854, why did that happen? I mean, after all, in uh, France, the uh, seigneurial system, the remnants of it uh, ended with the uh, revolution in the 1790s. Uh, it's an interesting question. Uh, again, uh, my last book, I've moved away from the Eastern Townships to look at a, at a senior, in fact, and, and a person who uh, was owned a seniory mostly after the system was abolished. So I was interested to start with the tale and go back to the beginning later on how that persisted, how, to the degree to which it persisted, and why people continue to be called seniors after it was supposedly abolished. Uh, when I looked at, the, uh, at his seigneury, Lobinier in particular, uh, what I found was that um, there was a lot of uh, hostility towards his father and the way he uh, tried to raise rents and so on. Uh, but that uh, uh, Jolie de Lobinier, the person I wrote a biography of, because he was sort of a paternalist, he was able to uh, operate a lumbering business on a seigneury, hire the local farmers, uh, and uh, you know they could pay rents. Because once this, when the seigneurial system was abolished in 1854 people still pay rents and they're allowed to pay it off in one lump sum, but very few in Quebec or, you know, Quebec or Upper or Lower Canada, but still in 1854, chose to do so because maybe they couldn't afford to. Uh, historians don't know yet.